end of the day i want i want to be known as someone who kept trying <laughs> success is sometimes luck and god's wish i wake up very early i pray but in my mind i i mean i charge myself up i said today is the day i have something good will happen Dr. Thumbe, thanks for having us here in your Welcome amazing in. campus in Welcome. Ajman. Thank you, thank you. You're here by chance, or maybe it was meant to be, but it was an encounter with the ruler of Ajman, if yes. I understand, yeah. on your way on transit to Africa in 1997 that actually kept you here. You know, I was in a different line of business. I was into logging, in timber, we cut forest, you know, and I was into real estate. So I was transiting, going to Tanzania. i happened to meet a sheik not the ruler himself mm. and we discussed uh, we were discussing everything about what's happening in the world business world so he asked me can you think of a project which will have multiple effects in our small country ajman is comparatively small you know so i said why don't you build a medical school and a hospital you know it will have multiple effects everything grows around it you will become famous internationally in a few days time i got a call from the ruler's court saying can you come and meet his highness so i i didn't know the reason because so anyway i, I thought it's a good opportunity to meet the the ruler of a country so i went and met him very nice simple people he asked me what the use folk of some medical school and hospital i said sheik i just made a comment <laughs> i i don't know anything about it i am a timber merchant and i'm a real estate guy But he said, "I am the ruler of the country. I can help you to make it happen." You know, quickly my mind thought, "This is a opportunity from Almighty." You know, so he said, and he shook hands with me. I said, "Go ahead, Bismillah." He said, "I say, I am a professional. I'll bring in consultants from India. I'll do a research about whether it's possible to do a medical school and." Uh, and a hospital and i'll come, i'll get back to you if there are challenges he said i give you one month <laughs> the rule ordering me to do it i brought consultant i did a research they said it's fantastic and you'll be the only one in the country so i came back and this happened you know a once in a lifetime opportunity it's true <laughs> unbelievable and to think that you were on your way to africa mm. you were dealing with timber today yeah. if anyone mentions thumbe mm. hospitals yeah healthcare it's true you become mr healthcare yeah this is something you imagined i never dreamt of it you know but i am a businessman you know mm. i look for opportunities i look for something which is new innovative trend setting and this was nearly 25 years ago exactly 25 years ago 25 yeah. years your anniversary <laughs> yeah and today the ua is home for you yes i live in sarja i love this country you know i used to make i used to tease uh, my family i used to say london is the best place in the world because both my sons were there for education today i say no it is uae you know dubai for sure you speak about how easy it is doing business here mm. what made it so easy and is it still as easy today you know when i started it was very simple they used to encourage us you know they make it simplify things for us about licensing about everything mainly because i was connected to the sheik you know he'll make a phone call and say do it if it is done but even now the government you know this country has grown because of their attitude they are welcoming people they are welcoming scientists they are welcoming industrialists they are welcoming people like us you know, with visas and many things you will not find this kind of attitude anywhere in the world You mentioned COVID being a challenging period for the business, but yeah. COVID also put health and healthcare on the global stage. True. How are things today? No one expected COVID. You know, we didn't know what will happen. No one could predict what can happen. But for us, it was also a good opportunity for business. Though our hospitals were closed, the clinics were closed, pharmacies were suffering, we suddenly our labs were doing extremely well. Our uh, one or two hospitals were converted into covid hospitals for two years so it was an opportunity apart from that the most interesting thing which happened during the covid for us was for me was the university developed online training and teaching because that was an students couldn't, couldn't come to the university okay. 
so we developed now a, a medical education portal called health varsity and we plan to make it the biggest in the middle east and this is something you're launching in yeah. may no we are launching it in a week's time in a week's time yeah so if you're talking about digital transformation where do you think thumbe group is compared to other healthcare we do a lot of things which are very innovative very trend setting very unique for example uh, we announced the metaverse introduction in our education healthcare in our uh, health clubs long time ago so though metaverse is not fully developed no. wherever possible in administrative in admissions we are using it in the health club we are trying up with the yoga institute from india and making it the biggest yoga on metaverse in the world so what will it take for the ua to be the capital you envision it to be what is the government which has to drive it it's not the private for us we benefit from their policies and their uh, decisions you know but it's bound to happen in the next 2 3 years you will be a leading medical tourism destination so at the moment what do you think is lacking because there are amazing facilities amazing programs is it the doctors that we need to attract is it the patients it what take, will it take it takes time to build a reputation it's already happening so india is cheap and affordable but uae has got security good quality a little bit of uh, word of mouth some people talking go to dubai is a better place yeah where is the uae right now in terms of healthcare i'm not sure where we stand but uh, we are as good as any other country in the world i recently went through a small procedure i had option i could go to england i could go to, i have connections also but i preferred here you know in all of your interviews you mentioned the support you received from the government yeah Uh, if you look at your linkedin page you have pictures with the rulers of almost every emirate your hospitals and uh, companies are present in every emirate and this is something not everyone has the privilege mm. like i explained to you earlier whenever the government announces their budget the heading is kalish times rights priority given to healthcare and education is it not so we are doing it in our own small way and we did it when no one is to do it in the country there was no uh, hospital of this size 25 years ago we did it because we were forced to do it I had to build a hospital for student training so the the rulers appreciate what we are doing the struggle we are going through business and ethics do they True. go together yes for sure we have been very ethical in our in our practices it's a very challenging time you know healthcare is depending on compulsory insurance it's not easy to deal because people do all kinds of uh, hanky panky <laughs> to make money we don't do it we don't do it what are your ambitions for expansion the future you know there are two uh, of our brands which we are trying to franchise one is healthcare that is a hospital tumba hospital has already got a franchise model ready we are going to kurdistan we are going to other countries as a franchise model that means there is no much of capital investment we lend our name we lend our expertise and drive the business and i am dreaming in the next 5 years 25 hospitals of franchise then we also have a brand called blends and brews it's a coffee shop brand we used to have 24 outlets before covid now it's slowed down a little bit we are now branding it franchising it and going to few countries where there are a lot of opportunities, like Saudi Arabia is one, Iran is one. So, there's, these are the two areas for sure we are going to grow. Apart from that, this online education, mm -hmm. uh, uh, metaverse, and something innovative we want to get into. A lot of people see you as a role model, so maybe you can use this stage to give some advice for someone who has big dreams today. From my experience, it's not like my earlier days, it was easy. i was had monopoly in education in healthcare and for many years i enjoyed this monopoly but it's now very competitive it's not that easy so if you want to get into a business we have to do proper research get a consultant to to understand if there is an opportunity it's not that easy anymore and then uh, it's like you ai the car uh, the roads you know when you drive on the right track <laughs> it's easy if you try to mess around with this you are going to get into some problem and accident and everything so better be straightforward in this country and as far as healthcare 5 years from now what will it look like 
we are still looking for opportunities we are in discussion with the dubai government to set up something like similar like this in dubai we we keep trying you know end of the day i want i want to be known as someone who kept trying <laughs> success is sometimes luck and god's wish i like to keep trying every day i come up with a new idea <laughs> i wake up and say today is the day today will be my luckiest day so i am a positive thinker that way what's the first thing on your mind when you wake up in the morning i wake up very early i pray but in my mind i i mean i charge myself up i said today is the day i have something good will happen and when you go to sleep what's the last thought i thank almighty that for all what he has given me i'm a very grateful person that way mr thumbe thank you so much welcome for having welcome. us today thank you thank you, thank you.